Hey guys, what's up? Um, Mocking the Mechlord here. Uh, doing another deck profile, except for this time it's for a friend of mine and his deck. Um, he has been playing Sylvans recently, uh, otherwise known as Shinra. I'm sure you guys know about that they are being released in Legacy of the Valiant in January, and a lot of people are getting interested in these decks, and I have the feeling that they can be top tier meta if people are just smart enough to actually learn how to play these decks and they're pretty simple a lot of it's easy actually a lot of people are stupid so to get off into the deck list uh, he plays one copy plant um, to copy levels you can go for a letter rank stuff like that uh, with the fact that you have some level eights you can easily go for some pretty big rank eight beaters that kind of just screw you over uh, he runs one crane crane not sure why crane crane just at one I would kind of think two, with the fact that you have like Dandy and multiple Melia. You'd think that two Crane Crane would kind of be put in here, but mm, apparently, uh, apparently two Crane Crane isn't a thing. Uh, we have one Dandy, which gets you tokens to defend yourself, and also as a plant, so there's its advantages. Uh, Lone Fire Blossom, main fucking key card in this deck. Anyone who plays plants obviously knows that Lone Fire is the key dex threat and one of the key cards in the deck for the strategy to even work for any of it to well the deck works without lone fire as the main card but it it's a real good play starter and gets everything going uh two rose archer uh trap negator i love having rose archer in the deck uh, i was actually playing this a little bit and i found that, i find that rose archer is like anti mirror force anti phoenix chain just gets over stupid stuff like that. Gets over Compulse. Like, Rose Archer is just too good. Uh, we have two Spell Striker. Used for Melia of the Thorns and also can attack directly. Which is which is a nice thing. It's a nice thing. Also can be used for Synchros. Uh, one Spore. Uh, someone told me that having Spore at... Two was good. No. Just no. Smack you in the face. All you gotta do is just smack you in the face. Spore's effect can only be used once per duel anyhow. So why would having more than one spore be a thing? Why would you need more than one? You don't. Uh, we have triple Sylvan Leaf Flow. Uh, when it's revealed and sent to the graveyard, destroy a monster on the field. <laughs> Which is a good thing, a very good thing, because, well, it, it's removal, and everyone knows that removal is a really good thing. Uh, Peacekeeper, when it's revealed and sent to the graveyard, you can special summon a level 4 or lower uh, plant-type monster in your graveyard, which is really good. It does have a once-per-turn effect, so you got to keep that in mind. Uh, 3 Sylvan Spirit Tree Regia. Level 8, 2700 attack. While it's on the field, you can reveal one card from the deck. If it's a plant, send it to the graveyard. Same effects as the other Sylvan monsters. Uh, but if Sylvan Regia is revealed and sent to the graveyard, look at the top 3 cards from your deck and return them to the top of the deck in any order. So that's really good pluses. Plus it's level 8, so that means a lot of a lot of evil XYZ monsters could be made. Sylvan Stool Huet, uh, when it's revealed, destroy back row, which everyone knows the back row hate, is always a good thing. Um, when it's flipped, reveal five cards in the deck. Same plant monsters in the graveyard, so on and so forth. Put the rest back in your deck. Same as the others. Uh, Sylvan Tree Fender Orc. Um, personally, I don't like Orc. I never really have liked Orc, but while it's on the field, you can reveal three cards for the effects. So that's a really, a really good. That's the only actual good positive side of Tree Fender Orc. Or when it's revealed, you can top deck a uh, plant type monster and return it to the top of your deck. So return Lone Fire. That's that's the other good purpose of Orc. But other than that, Orc really isn't useful for much, except for Saint Growing, uh, 2400 beat stick as well. Three Archfiend's Oath, 
Archfiend's Oath is really good and kind of kickstarts the deck up a bit. Pay 500 life points, declare a card name, pick up the top card from your deck, and if it's the name that you declared, add it to your hand. If not, send it to the graveyard. And which that would entail that it should reveal the card, or is counted as revealed. I believe that's the way that Archfiend's Oath works. If I'm not correct on that, I am sorry. But that's what a couple of my friends have told me about Archfiend's Oath. We have Book of Moon, Foolish Burial, Dump Dandy to the Graveyard. Just too good. Uh, three Miracle Fertilizer, obviously for great summon power, which is well needed in any deck. Summon power is always good. Uh, one for one gets in Spore, or Peacekeeper, mm, I or Copy Plant even, which always has its good positive effects. Uh, Rhoda can get you either Rose Archer or Spell Striker, whichever one you need. Uh, three Sacred Sylvan Peak. During your end phase, your opponent well during your opponent's end phase, you can send the top card from your deck or reveal the top card from your deck to the graveyard and get the same effects as the rest of the Peacekeeper cards. Or you can send one plant type monster from your hand or face it from your side of the field to the graveyard, choose a Sylvan card and put it on the top of your deck. So you can really combo off that way. Uh, two super solar nutrient. If you have Copy Plant on the field, or like Spore on the field, or Peacekeeper, tribute it, special summon a monster whose level is less than or equal to the level of the tributed monster plus three. So you can at max get plus, well you can at max uh, summon a four from Super Solar Nutrient. Uh, we also have Burst Rebirth. Burst Rebirth really good just c keep comboing off lone fire with burst rebirth at the cost of 2000 life points so you're pretty much paying the price for summer morning to summon lone fire back and keep triggering off lone fire really good combos could be made there for the extra deck he's got an alley of justice cataster black rose dragon formula synchron leo the guard beast of the great tree uh scrap dragon shooting star dragon stardust dragon uh, two Divine Dragon Knight Felgrond, one Ghost Trick Alucard, one Levier, we got two Melia of the Trees, and two Sylvan Morigami Alse. Uh, I'm not really going to go through Alse's effect too much, but once per turn, declare a card name, reveal it. If it's a declared name, add it to your hand, otherwise send it to the graveyard. If a card effect sends a card from your deck to the graveyard, you can detach from exercise material and target one card in the field, return it to either the top or the bottom of the deck. You can combo off with your own cards, or you can pop back your opponent's stuff, get rid of Stardust Dragons, Scrap Dragons, like whatever your opponent has, Draco Sack, Quasar Dragon, lot Sylvan Morigami I'll say is actually really good. Um Ghost Trick Alucard just pop back row. I thought that Ghost Trick Alucard was actually some very, very uh, awkward tech, but then again, back row does not like this deck at all, so you gotta get rid of back row as much as possible. And Ghost Trick Alucard helps to do that. Um, very, very kind of different card and different tech that I ever would have expected. Just I've, I've played against the deck, and I've played the deck. It actually is really good, and the point and the purpose of the deck is pretty true. You can pretty much spam and sack the field pretty hard with the deck. And it doesn't take a lot to sack, but it can sack. Um, this is a deck I do recommend worth trying. If you are into plant-style decks, this is a good one for you. If you like sacky decks that sack... Uh, this is also a good deck for you. It starts off slow, but it, it gets going in there when you get, like... You get one or two cards, and it and it kickstarts the entire deck, and then your opponent just fears you. You can, you can like, second turn shooting Star Dragon, even, with this deck. So it's, it's, it's pretty insane. Um, hopefully I will be getting a Quasar build of this. We'll have a Sylvan soon, so you'll be seeing that. Uh, here very shortly. I just have to talk to one of my team members about that, and I should be able to get the deck, and you guys can see that one too. Anyways guys, thank you for watching. Remember to like and subscribe, 
and peace out. Oh, it would actually stop recording, which would be hilarious.